everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be testing out, doing a try on and review of the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette. And this palette is absolutely gorgeous. I love the front, the colors inside are just, it's literally the perfect palette for me. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. It helps me a ton. I was looking at this palette and I was like, man, I don't know what I'm gonna do. There are so many possibilities, but overall, I love this palette palette because it's got a lot of neutrals in it but it also has a lot of color and it's got a lot of shimmer shades and matte so you kind of get a good variety of everything so I feel like anybody could use this palette really. Up close here are some of the shades. So I think for today's look I'm gonna do more of a like pinky purpley look. I feel like that would be really fun. I'm gonna try to do like a halo eye. We'll start out with Momentum which is this shade right here and I'm just gonna work this in my crease and above my crease. Actually, we're backtracking. Sorry, guys. I'm going to apply a little bit of a shadow primer, and I want to use the one that I just got from BoxyCharm. This is by Moonlit, and this packaging is so cute. So let's go ahead and apply some. All right, the primer is going on pretty nice and smooth. It definitely feels like really soft on my skin and maybe just like a little bit silicone-y, but it feels really nice. I'm impressed. Okay, now we're gonna go into the shade Momentum, which is right here. It is a matte, light brownish nude color. And we're just gonna work this into my crease and above for blending purposes. So we've got that as our base. I'm gonna go in next with the shade Hot Mess. It's this really pretty maroon shade. I'm just working this into my crease, darkening it up. That is so pretty. I love this. All right, so now that I've got that on, we are going to go in next and we're gonna get into some glitter. So excited. I cannot wait to use this. I'm gonna use the ultraviolet purple shimmer shade right here. I'm just gonna pack this on the outer part of my eye along with the inner corner of my eye. I'm actually gonna move to use a smaller brush. I'm just taking a little bit up into the crease. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same to the other side. Overall, guys, I got one little flake of fallout, but I'm not really getting too much fallout with this palette. Going on really nicely. All right, so now that I've got the purple on, we're gonna go in and I'm gonna brighten up the center. I'm gonna use the shade Cosmic right here. Got a little bit of pink, and if I have to brighten it, I'll go in with a little bit of the white. But this seems to be coming on pretty nicely. Guys, I'm obsessed with this palette. This is so pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off. I'm gonna take some of the Hot Mess shade, which I used in my crease to start. That's like the pinky color. I'm just taking it underneath my eye to make everything cohesive. And next up, I am going to go ahead, I'm gonna pop on some eyeliner and mascara real quick. And then I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts and I'll do some swatching for you guys so you guys can see all of these shades and how their color payoff is, what they look like and I'm so excited guys. This palette is amazing. I love it. I'm gonna use some lash primer. This is from Koki Cosmetics, so one of my absolute favorites and super affordable as well. This literally makes a huge difference when I go in with my mascara. Right now I'm using the Blink Tubing Mascara Ultra Volume. Although I don't feel like this gives me like crazy, crazy amounts of volume, but it definitely has fibers in it that help lengthen your lashes. Then I'm just going over top with the Bomb Cosmetics Mad Lash Mascara. Today's video shout out word is ultraviolet. If you comment ultraviolet down below in the comments first, you'll get a shout out in my next video. All right, what do you guys think of this look? I am obsessed with Huda's Mercury Retrograde Palette. Let me know what you guys think of this palette down below. We're gonna go ahead now and do some swatching before I head out. Okay guys, so I have swatched all of these shades. They are so pretty. 
I'm obsessed with like all of them. <laughs> this is the palette and swatches. They all come out pretty nicely. I did have a little bit of fallout with a few of the mattes, especially like this one, which I actually used to start as a kind of transition shade. This teal, I'm so excited for. I can't wait to use this one. It is super, super pigmented. And just overall, like look at these glitters. They are gorgeous. What do you guys think of this palette? Let me know down below. And if you guys just got this palette from BoxyCharm, let me know what you guys think of it. This has also been on sale for a really long time. I know at Sephora, not sure elsewhere. I just know it's been on sale literally for months. I actually personally purchased it for my own self because I thought this palette was, it just looked so pretty and I just wanted to get my hands on it, especially for the sale price. It was a pretty good deal. But now I got a second with it being in BoxyCharm. So I'm okay with it. Like. Getting a second of this palette, I am like all for. I feel like I'm gonna hit pan on all these. So I'm not mad about that. I also had the highlighter that was choice as well. So I knew I was gonna get a duplicate and I'd rather get a duplicate of this palette over anything else. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and turn your post notification bell on so you guys are updated every time I post a new video. Love you guys, bye.